I'm good. Dude, what was that? Did you hit something? No. My lower unit? I might have just blown my lower unit, dude. I didn't hit anything. That's not good. I was just cruising and it just I've never heard that. Oh, it something absolutely broke big time. I'm gonna put it in gear. It's it's the lower unit, dude. Like when it's in gear. See how grindy it is? That's shad. Yeah, let's do it. I'm in. Just gonna have to catch 25 pounds around the state park. Well, you're gonna be seeing a lot of the trolling motor today. So, Smith Mountain Lake Angler's Choice event number one. I'm fishing with my boy Hunter, AKA HPS Fishing. I think I busted my lower unit. I didn't hit anything, but it just... Stopped. We found some fish close to the ramp yesterday and last week during the BFL, there's like plenty of spots that we can just troll to around the state park, so... We're gonna try to get on a sick little Damiki bite and mag draft bite. We caught probably 20 something pounds yesterday worth of fish. Had a good practice, but we are limited to the Garmin Force today. Since we're keeping tabs on all the tournaments this year, um, right now we're negative $95 or like $98. I, you know what? We're not going anywhere. I might as well just check my phone. I've got it written down. We got time. Hunter loves seeing when I put that big red <laughs> negative money sign. So I'll put it on both of our faces now. Let's see what we're, what we're at after the BFL. And I won money in the BFL. I made like 600 bucks or something. Yeah, you beat like 90 people. Got lucky. Negative $95.48 after the first BFL. So at the end of this video, we'll talk about where our current tournament standings are money-wise. Let's fish that dock and then go down. No one? Uh, no, but he's a keeper. We caught a bass! Woo! Let's go! We got one! Oh my god, hours later. One lower unit. Our sanity. For this pound and three quarter <laughs> fish. That's what we needed to start it off. This is an expensive ride, fishy. Never give up. Okay. Okay. Never give up! Okay. It was on the blue one. What did you wear? Uh, it was on a rock point in about a brush pile, like, right there. 10 feet. It First fish of the day on a jackal drift fry. 5.2. We got three hours. Oh. Three hours and 45 minutes. Uh, no. I thought he was a giant. <laughs> Too scared with this six pound test, baby. Let's go. There's, come up here. They're, they're roaming in the, they're roaming in these trees. This was this. I'll check him. He's definitely a keeper. You want me to check him or no? Yeah. I'll check him on No, he's a keeper for sure. Dude. <laughs> Fish number two. This is the 
most insane drop off I've ever seen. Yeah, this is pretty intense. Boats at like 70 feet. Like, it's gotta be fucking fish. It's a terrible cast, but. Oh, this one's coming now. No. Keeper. Oh. I got go fish. Oh god, thank you, I do. <laughs> he's a keeper, right? If he's a keeper, the other one is too. A hundred percent. Yeah. All day. Oh man, this has not been the greatest tournament ever. Trolling motor only, limited areas, but we got three in the boat pretty quick on that setup right there. Six pound test, quarter pound head, quarter pound head. <laughs> We're going crazy. Quarter <laughs> ounce tungsten head. Uh, and right over there on that rock point, there's like a humongous drop ledge basically it goes into 60 feet we caught three fish right there fished a couple more of these rocky points and docks and nothing so we're gonna go back there try to get a limit and then hunter's gonna catch four or five pounders and i'm gonna finish it off with the last five pounder Hey guys, sorry for the interruption, but it's time for the Boat of the Week, sponsored by my friends over at Angler's Choice. So this week, we're taking a look at a pretty high-end boat. This is a 2023 Ranger Z520R. This was actually Marty Stone's boat that he ran for the last year. And it also comes with a really cool special promo, which I'll talk about in just a minute. Let's take a look at this boat first. This Z520R has a 20-foot, 11-inch hull. It's powered by a 250-horsepower Mercury Pro XS. You've also got two eight foot power pull blades on the back next to that Mercury. Up front on the bow, you have a Lowrance Ghost. This is a 36 volt trolling motor. It's a 47 inch shaft. And for your bow electronics, you have dual Lowrance HDS 12 lives with active target. And at the console, you also have dual HDS 12s. And since this boat is fully rigged out and nearly brand new, I mean, the motor only has 50 hours on it. It is a top shelf boat, so it's a little on the higher end of price, but Marty Stone has offered up a free trip if you decide to buy this boat. If you wanna go through with purchasing this Ranger, Marty Stone will literally take you out on a trip. So that's definitely worth some there. Along with that, this boat qualifies for the $2,000 Bass Pro Shops gift card and the free cover. So if you have any interest in this Ranger Z520R, please click that link down in the description below. And if this Ranger isn't exactly what you were looking for, don't forget English Choice has over 300 boats in stock right now. So there's definitely something that you would be able to find there to pique your interest. Also, if you have a boat that you wanna trade in, English Choice can take care of all of that for you. I'm gonna leave links for all of these down in the description below. Huge thanks to English Choice for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back into it. Autumn. This one actually feels like a little bigger. No, he's the same. Damn. Keep on pinned, brother. Let me know when you're ready. Coming in. Oh, he's a little better. Let's go. Oh, look at the belly on that thing, dude. Right when we get back to our spot. Let's go. We need four Check more that. of those. Check that. Dude, right. how big you think that is? Wait, three, three and a half. Yeah, three. Yeah. Let's go. We're still, we're still alive. Still alive. They're like out on the front, right? Somewhere. Right there. There's somewhere here. Like, seems like this tree's just super loaded. Got him. It's a boat. Oh, I thought that was a Is it a striper? Yeah. All right. We'll keep going. Come on, bass. It's a striper. <laughs> There's got to be some bigger ones in there. Are you telling me I fished some nine hours? For that little guy. It ain't over. It ain't over. We got time. We can make miracles happen. 
I've been known for a few last minute fish. Here. You are the last minute fish guy. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I should have been looking this way. It's coming. Now he's scared because he sees the freaking boat. We're going to go through this pocket. We're going to catch a limit. And we'll have cold three times. Wow. Said I'm the worst. Blaming the motor. Well, got a long run back to the ramp, boys. Strap him down. Get it together. I mean, I didn't say we weren't fishing our way there. Close enough. Hunter and I finished up in 57th place. We ended up weighing 8.32 pounds for four fish. We just couldn't get on that fifth one. And honestly, the bite was extremely tough all day. But finishing in 50, what did I say? 54th? Finishing in 57th out of 127 boats, really not too bad being stuck with just the trolling motor. And I can definitely say that the bite was very very difficult in the area we fished obviously we only caught five or six throughout the day four keepers and the overall bite in the area that we were in was terrible like we didn't get a single fish off a dock hunter caught one on a jerk bait off of a tree but besides that it was really really hard like if i'd had the motor i feel like we would have been able to run to different water whether that's to the very back of a creek or midway through a creek or just a different water clarity just an area that we could have tried something different we might have done better i'm not gonna play that game really but uh yeah it was tough i'm glad i had hunter out there to keep my head on straight it really sucks to blow your lower unit on your way to the first spot but we fished we had fun and now we can take a look at where we're at standing wise for costs. So after this English choice event, which we did not cash in, we made nothing. It brings us to, for the two tournaments we fished this year, negative $611.08. I'm not gonna count the lower unit into this. I don't think it, it doesn't apply for what we're trying to add up here, but yeah. And it was the lower unit that went out. I sheared the drive shaft and it was full of water, but uh, that's getting fixed now. That's a going to be a pretty penny, but hopefully we'll be getting the Ranger back soon. I've got some John Boat tournaments that I've fished that I'm editing that are coming out very shortly. I've got plenty of buddies who are going to get me out and the English choice events. If I don't have the Ranger back by the next one, I'll be fishing with Hunter out of his boat. So got plenty of content coming your guys way really hope you enjoyed this video leave a thumbs up for me help me heal this lower unit trauma and uh we'll see you soon